Tired of range anxiety and long charging times? What if I told you there's a potential solution that could make your current EV infinitely more practical? We're investigating Maxwell Chikumbutso's audacious claims of self-powered technology and examining the incredible implications of retrofitting this innovation into today's electric vehicles. The future of sustainable driving might be here sooner than you think. Imagine never stopping at a charging station again. Imagine driving across entire countries without ever thinking about your battery percentage or power outlet. That's the vision Maxwell Chikumbutso's technology seems to promise. A self-powered system capable of generating its own electricity indefinitely. For years, the world has dreamed of free, renewable, and endless power. From Nikola Tesla's early experiments with wireless energy to the countless inventors who followed, humanity has always searched for a way to break the chains of finite resources. Maxwell claims to have achieved it. A generator that produces more energy than it consumes, a closed-loop system that challenges traditional physics. His technology allegedly powers cars, homes, and even aircraft without any external input. A concept many call impossible, yet one that refuses to fade from discussion. This idea, self-sustaining energy, sits at the center of one of the most controversial debates in modern science. Critics dismiss it as pseudoscience or misinterpretation, while supporters argue it represents a suppressed breakthrough in energy freedom. But beyond the debate lies a crucial question. What if it actually works? And if it does, could it be integrated into today's electric vehicles, transforming them into machines that never need to recharge again? Before we explore that, let's first understand why this claim is so extraordinary. Electric vehicles, for all their innovation, still depend on one fragile foundation, the battery. Every EV on the road is tethered to a power source. Whether through home charging ports or vast networks of superchargers, they rely on infrastructure and time. Charging can take hours, and battery degradation shortens lifespan and resale value. Even with improvements in lithium-ion and solid-state technologies, the problem remains. Energy stored in a finite chemical process will always have limitations. Now, imagine bypassing that process entirely. A self-powered system would not store energy, it would generate it on demand. That means no degradation, no charging downtime, and theoretically, infinite range. Such a breakthrough would shatter the very business model of the EV industry. But is it viable to retrofit existing EVs with such a system? Let's explore how that could work in theory. At the core of an electric vehicle lies its powertrain, the motor, inverter, and battery system. If Maxwell's generator could replace or supplement the battery, the motor could continuously draw power without depletion. This would require integration with the vehicle's DC systems and onboard computer management. The generator would need to supply consistent voltage to mimic the battery output, while also interfacing with the regenerative braking system and safety protocols. It would have to fit physically into the car's architecture. Space, weight distribution, and heat dissipation all matter. Adding an independent power generator might change how weight is balanced, impacting handling, safety, and performance. Thermal management would be a major engineering hurdle. Current EVs already rely on liquid cooling for batteries and power electronics. A self-powered unit might require additional heat management. Then there's certification. Any retrofitted system must meet strict automotive safety and emissions standards. Incorporating an untested generator into an EV would need regulatory approval, a process that takes years and millions in testing. Economically, it's also a massive question. How scalable would this be? Could manufacturers produce these self-powered modules affordably and reliably? And would consumers trust a system that defies conventional scientific explanation? These are the real-world barriers standing between theory and application. Yet, despite skepticism, innovation often begins with ideas that seem impossible. History reminds us, flight, radio, and electricity itself were all once labeled as impossible. If Maxwell's technology delivers even a fraction of what it claims, it could upend multiple industries simultaneously. The oil and gas sector would face irreversible decline. Charging networks, battery manufacturers, and power utilities would lose their grip on energy dependency. Energy independence would no longer be a luxury, it would become a standard feature. The implications extend beyond transport. 
A self-powered system in vehicles could decentralize power distribution globally. Cars could act as mobile generators, supplying energy to homes, cities, or even remote communities. In developing nations where grid instability is common, this could redefine mobility and electrification entirely. Africa, where Maxwell originates, could leapfrog traditional infrastructure and move directly into an era of self-sustained technology. But let's not forget, extraordinary claims demand extraordinary evidence. To date, the biggest challenge for Maxwell's technology has been scientific validation. The physics community insists that perpetual energy systems violate the laws of thermodynamics. Every machine we know of loses energy to heat, friction, or resistance. So, the claim of 100% efficiency or self-sustaining operation sounds impossible under current understanding. And yet, innovation often emerges from the fringes of what we think we know. If even one credible demonstration of Maxwell's generator can be peer-reviewed and replicated, the world's energy paradigm would shift overnight. The idea of retrofitting current EVs then moves from fantasy to engineering. Let's imagine a scenario, a Tesla Model 3 equipped with a self-powered unit. The battery acts as a secondary backup, while the generator provides continuous current to the motors. No charging stations, no grid dependency, no emissions. A car that could theoretically drive for years without plugging in. For automakers, that would mean the end of recurring revenue from charging infrastructure. But it would also mean the dawn of a new race who can miniaturize and stabilize this technology first. Just as EVs disrupted combustion engines, self-powered systems could disrupt the EVs themselves. This would mark the birth of a third generation of transportation. Not electric, not fuel-based, but autonomous in energy. It's a vision that challenges everything we know about mobility. The societal implications are profound. Oil-rich nations could lose their dominance. Utility monopolies could collapse as individuals gain full control over their power. Manufacturing priorities would shift from extraction to sustainability. And global carbon emissions could drop to near zero if implemented at scale. But the path to that future is uncertain. Even if Maxwell's invention is real, scaling it is another challenge altogether. Energy systems must be reliable, safe, and reproducible to achieve mass adoption. That's why peer review, transparent testing, and open source collaboration are crucial next steps. Because secrecy breeds skepticism, and skepticism slows progress. The world is ready for an energy revolution, but it must be proven beyond personal demonstration. Imagine universities, startups, and engineers across the globe working openly to refine the concept. If even one version achieves continuous operation without external input, the implications are staggering. EVs would no longer be limited by infrastructure or geography. They could become global vehicles of empowerment, providing energy where it's needed most. Think of disaster zones where the grid is destroyed. Vehicles like these could power hospitals or communication systems indefinitely. Or rural villages where no power lines reach, one self-powered truck could electrify entire communities. That's the dream behind Maxwell's vision. Energy that flows freely, empowering everyone equally. But dreams must meet science halfway. Until verified, these ideas remain within the realm of possibility, not certainty. Still, the conversation they spark is essential because it challenges us to rethink the boundaries of energy. The notion of perpetual motion has haunted physics for centuries. And perhaps someday we may discover a loophole, not breaking the laws of energy, but understanding them more deeply. After all, every major leap in science began as heresy. Electricity itself was once dismissed as a parlor trick. The Wright brothers were ridiculed before flight. And quantum physics was labeled nonsense before it redefined reality. So maybe the question isn't whether Maxwell's technology works perfectly today, but whether it pushes us toward discovering what's truly possible tomorrow. Innovation often begins as defiance. It challenges the rules, the experts, and the assumptions we cling to. That's what makes it powerful and dangerous, because every great disruption threatens those who profit from the status quo. If self-powered tech were real, the ripple effect would be immeasurable. Entire economies could shift. Energy poverty could end. 
the world could enter an age where mobility and electricity are as natural as breathing. No wires, no refueling, no boundaries. Just motion powered by the universe itself. But as with all revolutions, the first step is belief followed by proof. That's why Maxwell's work, regardless of its current verification status, ignites an important discussion. It invites engineers, scientists, and dreamers to reimagine the impossible. What if the answer to sustainable energy doesn't lie in bigger batteries or faster chargers, but in a complete redefinition of energy? Generation, a system that's alive, self-sustaining, and independent of consumption cycles. A technology that rewrites the balance between human progress and the planet. That's what's truly at stake here. Not just cars that drive forever, but a civilization that powers itself endlessly. And even if this specific breakthrough never materializes, the pursuit of it could inspire the next wave of discoveries. Because every attempt at impossible energy brings us closer to understanding what energy truly is. In the end, progress isn't only measured by what works, it's measured by what ideas we dare to test. So, could Maxwell Chikambutso's self-powered technology retrofit today's EVs? Technically, perhaps one day. Practically, not yet. But philosophically, absolutely. Because it forces us to look beyond batteries and cables and see a world powered by imagination. A world where transportation becomes limitless, sustainable, and free. The kind of world humanity has always dreamed of but never quite reached. And maybe, just maybe, Maxwell's vision is a glimpse of that world trying to break through. The future of sustainable driving might not just be faster or smarter, it might finally be infinite. And whether through Maxwell's invention or another yet to come, the dream of perpetual motion continues to drive us forward. Because one truth remains constant, the world moves not by certainty, but by those brave enough to chase the impossible. And in that pursuit lies the power that could change everything.